Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and update you guys with what I'm currently doing to level to 100. So in the previous video, I believe we talked about how I crafted the majority of my gear on my character, uh, with the exception of my uniques and the helmet is just essence of horror. So today I want to talk all about what I've kind of modified on my atlas and what I'm doing to my push to 100. So with my previous atlas, um, which you guys have seen, I pretty much just had a very rough draft atlas that was pretty much primarily set on expedition. Um, I probably made a little over 40 divines just selling the logbook, selling the conqueror maps, selling the guardian maps, along with all of the random things I've identified, gems that I've flipped, old gear that I sold. Um, so I wanted something with a little bit more juice. So what I have done now is essentially I have a grand design atlas. Grand Design is really bad for progressing your Atlas because you get a lot less map drops because these little baby nodes become nothing. However, it makes it so for every uh, notable you allocate, such as these, you get 1% pack size. But I think with this Grand Design tree, I have about 37 to 38% inherent pack size on my maps. Um, yeah, so let's kind of jump right in and I'm just going to kind of show you what I'm doing. So at the moment, I'm running Toxic Sewer, although I have switched my strategy over to Underground Sea because Underground Sea just has much more density, which gives me a lot more returns. Most of my money still comes through Expedition, although Expedition is something that I kind of do at the end. Uh, so TLDR, 20% quality. Uh, I just kind of alk it and go, assuming that it's runnable. I use a Sulfite Scarab, an Elder Scarab, an Ambush Scarab, and an Expedition Scarab. Although I typically use Gilded Expedition Scarab, I'm only using Rusted because it's on a bad map for me. The reason I use the Sulfite Scarab is because right over here, uh, I get packed with energy, so I get like 105% increased damage, 3 max res, and 45% movement speed throughout the whole map. Uh, and then down over here, I have Guarded Hordes, so Sulfite Veins and Chests are guarded by Sulfite Hoarding Monsters which then scale with the pack size that you have on the map. So with that being said, uh, let me go ahead and add my four sextants real fast. Right, so Abyss, Gloom Shrine, Fire, and Remnant of Corruption. So Gloom Shrine, or sorry, Abyss I know sells, Remnant I don't think it sells, uh, Pack of Magic, and Convert. All we're really looking for is just monsters. Throw that stuff in, make sure that we're on not display capture. Cannot do this. All right, and then I also do Fortune Favors the Brave because Fortune Favors the Brave gives an additional 10% uh, rarity and 10% quantity and 10% or 10% pack size, so it's pretty huge. So Fortune it up, make sure your Eater is selected, and boom. Now, one big thing with this setup, and you don't need this, I do have a really expensive flask called Oriat's End. That gives me nice pops and explosions again not needed as you saw my previous video covering kind of how i clear but this is kind of just like the icing on top I haven't even got the influence spawn yet there it goes So this map, for example, has 71% pack size, you can see down at the bottom. I like throwing one Delirium Orb because this singular Delirium Orb adds so much density in terms of just like the Delirium mobs. Uh, and then on our altars, assuming I can read them, <laughs> I try to prioritize quantity here so that we do the expedition at the end and the expedition gets all the quantity bonus. Now this Gloom Shrine might be a little too unethical for some of you, so I will turn it off for the remainder of the map as well. I was also thinking, I believe you could do this strategy on 
defiled cathedral i think assuming the Defiled cathedral is still on because that's it's kind of like um crimson temple but it has a much better layout for expedition And this here is the Sulfite Infusion buff that was on the tree that I was talking about earlier. And now we have all three charges. Actually save that. So now it's time for an expedition boom. I am definitely not the most efficient when it comes to doing expedition, but I'll sort of just walk through my process. So number one thing that sells for me are the logbooks. So the first thing I do is just take a look and see if there are any logbooks. If so right there, right there, logbook. If I can't find logbook, I go for rare monsters, pack size, and magic monsters because it makes more monsters, and that's really about it. Uh, right, so we are going to start, and look at that, we get 50% rare with the logbooks. So, we're going to take that, and I believe I saw a pack size somewhere here. Where did I see pack size? Is that also logbook? That's also logbooks. We're going to go for that one too. So, since that's also logbooks, we're going to go ahead and grab everything. Everything is pretty much safe unless we grab Overwhelm Physical Damage Reduction. That is one of the few ones we do not want to touch is Overwhelm. Uh, so I'm going to just move this forward here and then grab all these. For me to lose another limb, I, uh... Right, let me grab, I guess. Oh, that actually sucks. Hold on. Let's go back. So the thing that sucks is I'm not grabbing this, which has a whole bunch. So let me first grab all of this. Yeah. And then now let's go ahead and swing up and grab these. And then now we'll grab the last logbook there. And now I got majority of it. So with the Gilded, uh, I believe with Gilded, I get like one or even two extra dynamite charges, which just makes this a lot easier to place. Uh, and then you can always just check there's no immune to fire and there's no overwhelm. So I just go ahead and detonate this. Now, if you're doing this strategy with my regular RF build, you're going to primarily be using Infernal Cry for your area clear. Uh, because I have Oriath's N, I don't necessarily need to do that. Although I still do run. Um... I still do run Infernal Cry anyway for cover and ash. And then I just kind of organize my inventory and I get my next map set up. And then I go in and then the expedition is spawned. And now with the pack size, you have the giga pack size. Along with right now the ultra quantity, you didn't really get much. And then you pretty much just boom it. And even if you don't get a logbook, you're still getting the currency to actually, like, do expedition. So, for example, in this instance, I'm getting exotic coins, so that would be Tuyan. Good. Yep, and that's pretty much what we do. So, anyway... I hope you guys had a wonderful time. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. As an example there, I picked up 12 stack decks. That's basically 12 chaos if I were to sell that. So that 12 chaos almost refunded like the whole map uh, with the exception of like the delirium orb, I think. Yeah. Uh, anyway, though, I'm out. So hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Probably going to ding 99 today and just continue this strategy all the way to 100. So see you guys all later. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to catch me streaming live every day but Sundays at twitch.tv slash pox. See you tomorrow, boys.